Homer Sykes, On the Road Again, published by Mansion Editions in 2015. 120 pages. It's a really nice horizontal size. I will measure it. You can pick this up. It's 12 by 8. And I'll put an A4 piece behind it to sort of give you a better perspective. I'll tell you what size it's like. It's like survival programs. It's exactly a similar sort of size for it's that. You can hardly see the, um, the blue paper behind it. So it's a nice, it's a nice sort of A4-ish type size and it's that lovely horizontal which suits, I think, horizontal pictures perfectly. Homer Sykes is a very prolific photographer. Not only um, has he this on the road series which is from America, but he's been at work uh, non-stop documenting British culture since I would say 1969-70 when he was a student and he started this American series. A lot of his work you can buy in books uh, on Amazon at Cafe Royal Books from his website. I will put the links for Cafe Royal Books and I will put the links for Homer's website so you can you can find your way towards getting uh, some of his work and, and, and an insight into the other stuff he does. I think he has uh, a photo shelter site. There's lots of things. With, with Homer's a very reputable and very respected photographer. So I love this book. So let me give you an insight. Now, this book is um, it, literally... He was a student, I think he was inspired by uh, Robert Frank, Cartier-Bresson. He, he was finding his feet with photography. He was a, he was second, he was a student, second year student. He, um, he, he just, I think he wanted to just get out and, and get, he had a sense of wanderlust and he wanted to get out. He hadn't been to America before and reading and some of the stuff I've, I've, going by some of the stuff I've looked at he said something about um, that he turned up in New York, had never been to America, he was a young guy and he just wanted to create um, really just uncomplicated pictures he was no, there was no narrative there was no sort of underlying message or meaning he just wanted to, in the spirit of Frank and Bresson, he just wanted to create pictures and what I want to do, I want to go through this, I'm not going to go through all of it I just wanted to give you I love this shot actually, I wanted to give you an insight into Homer into his work and, and let you go away and you know, use the book as a reference use the book as um, as, a, as, as an illustrative reference point and research Thing, to go and do something like this on your own. If you live in Grimsby or somewhere, start your, start it there and start travelling. And, and if you live in New York, then get out and do the same and use this sort of ref, use this sort of, these sort of projects as reference material. And funnily enough, it says New York, 1969. So that going back, what I know of Homer, that was his first shot he ever took. That was he gets off a plane, goes to his hotel, and before he wanders around. Uh, in Manhattan or wherever he's going um, this is the first picture and I think it's an obvious first step in terms of the visuals um, great cover I think the cover lends itself to showing you that uncomplicated attitude towards the pictures it's quite ambiguous three people and you can see he's on a road the beginning road it's a very ambiguous shot but there's a lot going on and I think I think Homer wanted to you know he could see there was a lot going on. Even with that, there's a lot going on. But he was trying to create a moment of, I think, emptiness, thought, you know, thought-provoking. Um, he's trying to create a, a, a sort of pictures which make you think and make you want to investigate. So let's... I'm just going to go to the back here. So On the Road was done in two stages. It was done from 1969, 1971, and he went again in, I think, about 1999, and he, until uh, uh, to 2001. I don't think he was there all the time, but he went on a uh, Greyhound bus. He just travelled. There was no particular goal. Like I said, there was no um, particular 
angle about just just finding himself. I think with his photography, it was a it was something which I think would set him up for the rest of his life. I'm just looking now. I think I haven't opened this book for a while. Chance Encounters of American Journal. I think he's literally talking about the places he went. So you have to have a destination. So New York, New York, New Bern, North Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina, South Beach, Miami, South Beach, Miami. So this is, I think, going between, between sort of towns, Chico, Texas, Happy Texas. It's really interesting. And, I, and I'm really pleased that, that there's text in here because I, some of you who follow this maybe know I'm really into the text and dialogue and, and narrative with, with, with pictures and I think it's really important. So we're going to start with Denton, Texas, 1999. I have to say, what a shot to start with. I mean, it's like, ah, oh, that is just so good. I wonder how, and maybe in the text somewhere, how Homer found 1969 to different to 1999. And I wonder if there's something within the context of this which is making that sort of statement. Maybe there's not. Maybe you should find out. That's a lovely abstract. Look at that. Look at the play on the miles as well. It's fantastic. That's clever photography. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. That is San Francisco, California, and the other one was Texas. So he's moving around the south over to the west, Buddha's belly button, and that's the Mohawk Desert, California, 2001. A good shot to focus on. This shot inspired me to shoot some stuff like this, and I'd spotted, I was, all, I was jealous of this. I, I thought there was always something about advertising boards and having a blank and thinking, you know, gosh, that, it's, it's, it's something you don't see often. And I've got a couple of shots which I've found, which are not as good as this, but um, they, 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 they're on my stock line and stuff like that. So I'm really interested in that. And that sort of inspired me to sort of think, can I find one of them? I love that, look at that. We're going back now to 69 and 71. And I'm going to skim and let's see where we go. Yay, back to 2001. I think, let's just go back here. With, you can see there's a very good awareness of abstract with Homer's work, and that's in 1969. For me, I'm around a lot of students, and I see how they're thinking, and it's, you can see that if he's thinking in this abstract form when he's a second year student, it was obviously was going to be good, because it, it, it's, it's not an easy thing to discover that early on, and, and, defi and, and produce defining images and almost passive quality images which give definition and meaning to the story and deliver a message and, you know, things like that. He's, you know, he's, he'll have just left university with this shot. And remember, we didn't have the influences then which we would have now. And you'd think with the amount of influences students would, um, would pick up certain things and be saturated with inspiration and to be honest some are some just get it straight away some are overdosed with it and some people just don't get it and Homer as you can see without the minimum of influence I think with Frank and and and, and Bresson he's he's you can see he's got a quality you can see that far back that he is exploring the design and you can see still here now this is uh, you know in the next century effectively you know 2001 he he's still he's experimenting with with design he's experimenting with light and and so far the shots we've looked at with, with, with this series he, he's gone there and, and, and there's light and there's, there's abstract and there's stuff and which is interesting you know because when I look at a lot of other I was looking at some of Homer's work other work today and on the British and it's, it's not that it's different, it's just that this, in a sense, is a bit different in its approach because of what I'm seeing and with a sort of abstractness to it. And, and, and very, for me, I thought um, a lot of Homer's British work was quite literal, it was quite straightforward, it, it delivered the message, it was beautifully exposed, composition was everything. And here, I think the Americans, and it may be a continuation of the style, 
is a little bit more abstract. And I'm going to turn the page and be totally proved wrong, I think. Again, yeah, so where are we now? San Francisco, California, 2001. Again, I've missed out loads. You know, I'm more than halfway through the book and I've missed out tons. Probably it's a bad idea when I'm trying to sort of justify what I'm saying. So that's another, you know, this beautiful abstract, this, you know, contrast uh, between jacket and no jacket and just the sort of relationship. And it isn't trying to say anything. It's not really, that could be, that could be the, the stairs of Oxford University or something like that. You know, it, it, it doesn't give away much. And I think that's quite an interesting view and take on it. South Beach, Miami. Beautiful. Now we're going back to 69. Definitely, I feel like a Bresson inspired shot there. That's definitely got that depth of field and, the, and, and that cleanness and that almost humour of, of Bresson's work in that. Again, this as well. It's definitely that um, playfulness which Bresson can quite easily produce and, and I think you could see it as a sort of Bresson, Bresson influence with his work. So we're still on, I'm going to go, now this is an interesting one, or am I wrong? No, it's not. I'm getting confused with the text there. I thought it was 1999 and it was, um, it's 69 and what a beauty. But I think in terms of the cars, and that's 99 and North Carolina and that one is in Texas there. It's busy again, it's abstract and there's almost a sort of bareness here, isn't there, of... Um, of work and of, of, of imagery it's almost bearing its message and and I think I don't think Holmes trying to say too much with this and I think it's very personal this and it, it's personal to him because he was experiencing it and and it, it's he's not he's not giving too much away within this book and I, I think that's a really interesting in, a really interesting perspective I think anybody who wants to do a travel piece should get this and think about what and re what, what pictures you could use as in, in a way to explain the way you want to see things and, and, and as a good base to your research. And I'd like to, obviously I know there's Frank and I, can, I know there's Bresson, but I'd like to know what other influences inspired um, Homer on this. I guess America did. So what we've got here, we've got Trenton, 69, Dallas, Texas. I love the way he's going from 69, 99. It's like a real sort of significant 30 years difference. And actually, even like the last shot, there's a, con there's a bit of confliction here because I could say that was shot in 1969, but I presume that's the New Jersey, 99, and that's the Dallas, Texas. And the same with the car shot, I got confused. There's a little bit of playing there, I think, and, and that's nice. 69, Joshua Tree. Oh, brilliant. Back to California, 2001. You see the dog. Let me have a look at you down on that. That's a great shot. There is a bit of humour in this book, and I like that. That's fantastic. And this is 99. Again, I think maybe this is reflecting how he actually felt in the first place. It was all like boom, boom, you know. And America is a bit like that. It really does hit you in the face. And it's very interesting to sort of take a step back and look at it, and it's just chaos. But it's great chaos, it's a great place. Where are we in our 71? So on the road again, is giving us a reflection of his past journey. It's giving us some really good insight um, with the dialogue and the, and, and the, and the, the thoughts and of, of, of Homer and I think you know it really offers me a, a lot more and I'm going to spend a bit of time and read this um, Gallup New Mexico 1971 again you know Homer's looking for light he's looking for design again it's not just a picture of some teepees there's a design element to this and he's bringing in the commercialism with 
the old, um, you know, um, what even looks like a Land Rover there, but with the with the old indigenous cultures with the the oil and a bit of a sort of nice subtle contradiction. Looking out to see South Beach, Miami, Florida, 99. So I've missed a lot of this out. Um, I think you should go and buy it. It's very easy to get a hold of. It's very accessible. I hope I've done it some justice. Thank you, Homer. And um, I'll put the links on to Homer's site and, and Cafe Royal Books and get out there and find more of Homer's work and, and, and go and order some books. Thank you. Well done, Homer.